Unfortunately, there could only be one winner. But it's now time to reward and honor the men who fought right till the very end and can be extremely proud of their performance this entire season. I'd like to call up on stage the runners up from Kerala Blasters FC to collect their medals. Well, Putia at the front there, Hyderabad forming a guard of honor and a nice touch. All friends, now that the match is finished, it was a battle between the two sides. Kerala thought they'd done enough, that goal from Raul KP, but a stunner from Sahil Tabora. But it's the, the worst walk in the world, isn't it, to collect a runners-up medal in a final? Yeah, it is. It's never nice. You've got to turn around and say they gave it a go. They had the best opportunities in that first 45 minutes, struck the woodwork a couple of times, but they missed the penalties. And sometimes, we said, didn't we, during the match, it's about keeping your nerve, it's about keeping your bottle. And in a penalty shootout, you need that. You need to have nerves of steel. And unfortunately, right at that final hurdle, it's just where it hurt them. Well, we've talked a lot about stability, something that the Kerala Blasters haven't had since the start of this competition, or the start, the start of the league in 2014. And if they can sign up Vukamanovic now, he could already start planning and plotting to keep his players for next season. They have to. It's as simple as that. They have to sign Ivan Vukamanovic for another season or two. I think he's done a fantastic job. You look at the way that he man manages his side, you look at the way that the players have developed and come on under him, they really have improved. They look solid. They are they're a process. They are an actual process of moving forwards. I think it's a year too early for them to go for the league title and the trophy, but they've shown a, and given a real, real good account to themselves this season. To for Jixson, who missed that penalty. You saw the reaction of the final whistle at the uh, end of the shootout. Rather, Raul KP, who got his name on the score sheet. But uh, a mix of young players, experienced players, and, and some very good foreigners that he recruited this year. No, exactly, and a little tweak here and there, and it'll work for them. It, it is as simple as that, you know, I mean, if you keep the likes of Cabra, who can keep the dressing room vibrant and who's fantastic there, but when you've got Vuka Manovic, you have to give him another year. The captain from Kerala Blasters FC will also receive a cheque of rupees 3 crores. So Adrian Luna collects the runners-up check. It'll be money that will go towards the development, I'm sure. But you can tell that the disappointment after a long season mentally and physically for these players, they have finished in runners-up for a third time.